What is up you guys? So today I want to take a little while and relay some information to you that I've learned about brakes. So working on the Nova today. Well actually I'm not really working on it. I'm just going to share this information with you guys. But uh, my car is a 1970 Nova so a lot of this information would pertain to like Camaros, Firebirds and stuff like that of similar years. Uh, but my car has uh, drum brakes on it which are pretty much just the worst. They squeak, they grind sometimes. Um, in my case, the passenger side brake would always grab like harder than the driver side. So the car will like always kind of like veer off to the right or it kind of pulls to the right. And the other thing that was really annoying to me was like it would like bind up almost. So like if I was uh, like I don't know at a stop sign or something like behind some cars and I had to inch forward when I totally stop and then let go of the pedal like the car would like kind of pop or like uh, pop back into position if you will I guess so it was like the the passenger side of there was like kind of binding up the suspension and stuff because uh, it was pulling harder on that one side uh, just super annoying I mean uh, they do work I uh, wasn't really ever concerned about stopping or anything like that um, but you can get brake fade real easily and uh, they're just crap. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, so um, I've been doing a lot of research for a while on this, and I knew I wanted to. Uh, I found out you could do like C5 Corvette brakes on this car. There's a couple different ways to do that. I've been researching it pretty heavy, uh, reading online and a bunch of different stuff like that. So, um, one way you could do this would be to order some parts from CPP. Uh, and you would get like new spindles for that. They have a kit, it comes with like everything, but you would get new spindles and then you can uh, actually put a C5, C6, or C7 like bearing and hub onto there, which might be kind of cool. It's uh, sort of a sealed bearing, like a cartridge type of unit hub, uh, whereas these are the tapered uh, bearings or whatever. I guess I don't know if that's a technical term for them, angled bearings. Um, so I thought that might be cool. I was thinking maybe I'd upgrade to that. It'd be like newer technology. Um, and aside from that, the kit, you know, the, the spindles, um, they would have the, the bracket mounts for the, the C5 calipers and all that stuff on there. It's kind of a bolt-on kit, um, and it comes with everything, the lines, rotors, calipers, pads, the spindles, all that kind of stuff. Uh, However, kind of been reading online a bit, and it sounds like there was a bit of an issue with those bearings, like those hubs and stuff would go out or go bad, um, especially if you were driving hard, like if you are autocrossing or something, I guess, they can blow out or fail. Uh, I actually had a couple people say that these tapered bearings or whatever inside these just old school original hubs here can actually handle more lateral force than the cartridge ones or whatever like the newer Corvette would have. So anyways that was kind of one option I was looking at and uh, the other option is I was checking out there's a company uh, called Core 3 and it's K-O-R-E and the number 3 is the name of the company and uh, they've got some pretty cool stuff that you can actually do this conversion much cheaper I think uh, than the CPP route. And uh, I mean, there's other companies that make spindles. There's like the ATX or ATX or whatever one Speed Tech has, and a couple other companies make whole spindles you can put on there to to mount the calipers and stuff. But uh, Core Three actually, if you uh, you can tear apart your like if you take your uh, drums off here and everything, um, there's an upper boss here. So this is kind of like this bolt here, this whole little assembly thing. Uh, it threads into the top of the spindle up here and then there's a couple of bolts obviously in the down here for the uh, steering and stuff steering arm stuff to bolt onto so if you take this apart and get this out of here there's three different spindles so um, there's two different drums and a disc so this could be half inch 20 or uh, 5 8 I think it's 5 8 18 or half inch 20 something like that uh, so if you figure out what you've got there on a totally stock drum spindle, core three, you tell them which um, upper boss you have. 
they will just send you a like a five eighths or I don't know if it's five eighths thick, but uh, a really beefy bracket that will just bolt right onto here, and I think down here, but it just bolts right on, and you can put the uh, C5 or C6 caliper right here. Uh, the difference is um, the drum spindle and the disc spindle. The drum spindle, the boss right here is like, I can't remember if it's like 0.6 or 6 tenths or something like that, but it's basically the boss is like thicker on a drum than a disc. So you could also get just like um, like CPP or different companies make uh, the caliper mounting bracket, but if you use the drum spindle, you have to grind that certain amount off the top boss up here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's flat back under here. So you can grind that certain amount off of there to make the bracket work. Uh, however, the Core 3 one, you don't have to do that. It just will just bolt on and fit perfectly. A um, couple other things I was checking out. So I think I'm going to get the Core 3 brackets. They just seem like the way to go. I can just use my original spindles and everything. I won't have to buy new ones or, or tear all this apart because I put new ball joints in it and stuff. Uh, so you have to use the a drum hub though, like this that I have here. Uh, the disc one is like integrated into the rotor on a on a disc setup, a stock one. So you have to get that bracket and then keep this hub. And the like the base model C5 rotor, I guess, is like twelve. It's like twelve point eight nine inches. It's almost a 13 inch rotor which is pretty big however the hat the inside part of it uh, depending on which rotor you get I guess you may have to oh, turn my phone off there you may have to actually grind this uh, turn this outer edge of your hub down to be a little narrower to fit inside the hat of the rotor so um, I kinda heard where if you have the, the you know the 13 inch rotor essentially this can fit inside of that hat without turning it down um, but maybe it won't I guess there's kind of a variation there but no big deal you could you can uh, put this on a grinder or something you know turn it and grind try to grind it evenly back a little bit so it fits or you could take it to a machine shop and have them do it for you I don't can't imagine that would cost too much and uh, the other thing I asked about, I actually called Core 3 a while ago and talked to the dude over there. He's pretty knowledgeable. So I asked him about the studs too. Like if I, if I can just totally use this whole stock assembly. And he said you could depending on what wheel. So the stock C5 brake setup, you're going to need to use at least a 17 inch wheel. And a lot of the new aftermarket wheels have like thicker um, centers in them and stuff. So I can try this, but he recommended getting a, a Dorman, I think they're two and seven eighths or something like that, um, wheel studs and changing them out. So I, I may do that. I guess I'll just see how that goes. Um, so kind of good stuff. I guess, you know, you check that out. I think I'm going to get the Core 3 bracket. And uh, they sell an entire kit that comes with the bracket. They You can get hubs from them. Uh, the calipers, the rotors, all that good stuff. There's even a conversion line. Um, and it's kind of spendy though. I actually have a buddy that here at where I live that parts out lots of Corvettes. He works on them all the time. So I imagine he just has probably a small pile of all the calipers and rotors and stuff that I can use. So I'll just go over there and work a deal with him, get them really cheap, I think. But you could also go to a junkyard or whatever. Anyways, I wanted to just kind of pass this information along. Um, you know, a third option would be if you just wanted to upgrade to discs, you could get one of the, the kits off Summit or whatever, whereas you can get the bracket and it comes with like, uh, I think they're 11 inch rotors with single piston calipers and stuff to just get disc brakes on here. Uh, but you probably, you know, you could either have to get the disc spindles or, or order like new spindles that have the mounts on them something like that or you can grind this upper part down to make the bracket work and all that kind of stuff so just want to pass this along to you guys when I get all the components and everything I'll I'll show you a little bit more about how this works and and uh, convert it over and everything so catch you guys later